Hi everybody, it's Mary and I'm coming to you today to talk to you about the, the Jaclyn Hill Becca Champagne Pop Collection, whatever. Um, and, and here it is. And so I wanted you to see this. Okay, I don't have it. I took it back, okay? Um, but I did take pictures of it first. And I had to take it back before I could actually make the film because so much stuff's going on and all this week I'm not gonna have an opportunity to take it back and so I thought okay just take the pictures and talk to them about it so before we go any farther I want to say my intent for making this film is not to persuade you not to buy this palette okay and it is in no way to knock Jacqueline Hill I love Jacqueline Hill. If you guys know me, you know that every time that anything happens where she's a collab or she has something, I stay up all night long to get it because I love Jacqueline Hill, okay? And so when this happened, I was like, wow, ah! it's totally insane, okay? I've got to get it, I got to get it now. And I wanted to come to you and talk to you about this before June 16th, and this palette comes out, these palettes come out in the store, and you do what I did. I feel bad when it comes to stuff like this because it's a limited edition palette that they've only made so much of, and there will be no more. So now that I have bought it and took it back, it's wasted and that takes one away from somebody who may have enjoyed it so let me tell you who this may or may not be good for okay in my opinion if you think that matters <laughs> in my opinion this is not a I this is for collectors um, if you love Jacqueline Hill and you don't care what it is you just want it because it's Jacqueline Hill this is for you um, it the packaging is just beautiful. It's Jacqueline Hill all over. Okay, and um, the people my snapchat fam. Hi guys. I'm mugging you again <laughs> Poor people they put up with my mouth for an entire day. We went from oh I forgot I had it in the drawer <laughs> to opening it up live on snapchat showing everybody how excited I was to open it up and see it and stuff and then I started swatching it and actually I, through the eye palette I was still good I will show you pictures these pictures I took and you can see for yourself that finger swatching and this doesn't it's not just this palette it's pretty much any palette when you finger swatch a, a palette that is not a true representation of what it's gonna look like on your eye with a brush Okay. However, I was expecting some pigment. <laughs> you, you know me, I, I am a pigment girl. I don't think the pigmentation is there and it's nothing special. It's neutrals. It's, two, it's three neutral brown shades and two really champagne-y colors that do not show up. You can take your finger and run it through it. Perfect. Get your brush into it. No, it, it did not stay on my lids. Um, I applied MAC Fix Plus to it and I was like, meh. Okay, so when I ordered it, I had every intention of keeping it even though I knew I could dupe the colors. But when I put them on my lids, my heart went, womp, womp. No, I was sad. <laughs> my high came down really quick and I let everybody know about it all day long aren't you glad that you don't watch me on snapchat if you don't watch me on snapchat the face palette the face palette that's a totally new ball game i took it back too <laughs> for a different reason though face palette um first of all i want to tell you downstairs there in the show more there's a, a video i'm gonna link to i found this video after i've been on snapchat ranting about Look at this, and look at this, and now look at this, and look, it's made in China, and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> then I found this girl who pretty much summed it all up in a much better way than I ever could. So I'm linking her down there. Please go watch her video. She pretty much is summing up what I'm saying, okay? $40 palette, a, Be a Becca palette is $40. It's made in the USA, cruelty-free company. Um, now you got the Jaclyn Hill palette, $40 made in china it's just my opinion it's outsourced to china it's inferior than the other 
Shadows by Becca, and that makes sense, right? Because they have to pay Jacqueline. Um, face palette, though, different story. Face palette was made here, and the only reason that it went back is because it, I wanted it for the blushes, certainly not the highlighters. At this point in my life, I think they should be rearranged. I think that the that this little size of the blushes in there, those should be the size of the highlighters, <laughs> and the blushes should be the size of the highlighters. Um, but, and they look, when you swatch them, as you will see, um, they don't look anything alike. However, when I put them on my face, today I'm wearing Becca Foxglove, okay? That new, I can't think of it off the top of my head, Pat Mosa or something, that blush looks like my Foxglove right next to it on my face. And the Amaretto, when I put it on my face, looks like Sweet Pea. If I use Sweet Pea lightly, I have those blushes already. Champagne Pop in this collection, it doesn't look like Champagne Pop. It's not, it's a different color. And the textures are different on these um, highlighters than they are on the ones that you have individually. And I have them all right there. So I didn't buy it for the highlighters. I bought it for the blushes. Becca blushes are $34 a piece. So it looked like they were regular size blushes and you were getting three of them. That's a fantastic deal. So, mm, nah, not a good deal for me. The mirror on that, that palette is beautiful. The mirror on it, spectacular. Um, you could get ready with that mirror. A lot of thought went into the design of the palettes to make sure that they looked like Jacqueline. You, open, you look at it and you go, Jacqueline Hill. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I'm telling you all this, showing you all these pictures and linking that video below so that you will know this before June the 16th, I think it is. The only thing in the face palette that I really wanted to keep was the sparkling spritz or what, rose spritz or whatever it's called. That blush I wanted, but it's not the side. I mean, Becca blushes are little. Here's a Becca blush. That's Foxglove. The Becca blushes are tiny, okay, to begin with. Full of pigment and punch and all goodness, but they're little. The ones in that palette are littler than this. So $52 for a blush that was littler than this, no. I don't care how beautiful it is, <laughs> I'm not keeping it. When I took it there, they were like, Whoo, because none of them had ever seen it before. And I was like, yeah, well, here, let me show you something. It stinks. Open up the eye palette and smell it. That smells like funky chemicals of some sort. Uh, and it says clearly on the back, made in China. Go look at any of Becca's products. It does not say made in China. It says made in the USA. So. Okay. So that's my opinion. <laughs> Am I making sense to anybody? You can't make a palette do the special decorating that they did to this palette, pay Jacqueline, <laughs> and everything remained the same as the other palettes. They had to do something somewhere or they wouldn't have made a profit. The return of investment, this is basic business, people. <laughs> the return of investment isn't there unless they either cut corners and outsource to China overseas or, and I might be totally wrong, or, yeah, I mean, I got my right to an opinion, or they make the price more. So that's what I got to say. So I hope that's helpful to somebody. Like I said, I found that girl's video. It was so wild because I was like, ah, if you look in the comments, you're like, ah, because I can't believe I found because I could not find any videos, none. I could not find any videos that were somebody like me, whose channel is not very big, who bought it out of their pocket. Um, everybody that I found was somebody that, the big kit. Now I don't mean just the two items I'm talking about, but I mean the the whole primer, the you know the whole big set that, that all the big YouTubers got for free uh, that Becca sent them. Um, or friends of Jacqueline, or bigger YouTubers who are, don't want to say anything bad about Jacqueline. Uh, in fact, the only person that I found who I thought was really, really objective about it that 
got that stuff was Dan, Coffee with Danny. I thought that she'd handled that very good. Okay, I need to shut up now. Okay, so if you're not having a blessed day, please go out and be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you. See ya. Bye. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got food in my tummy and it was just so greasy. <laughs> I've got it all over me. Um, yeah, so let's make a movie. Your lipstick's coming half off and you got grease and food all over you. Looks like a good time to make a movie to me. I don't even know if I have food in my teeth. Hi, Hi everybody, it's Mary. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Mary. <laughs> Hi everybody. Hi everybody, it's Mary, and I'm coming to you today because I can't stop laughing. <laughs> I swear sometimes you would think I was drinking. Look, this is an earring. I wanted my necklace to come together, so I put an earring on it. I love my pigments and I want them to be strong. Yeah, hit me, baby. Give me that pigment straight on. <laughs> my snap family's like, she's crazy, she's crazy. Coo, 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 coo. Because I was like, look, yay, ooh, ah. You know, too. I'm never, I'm taking this stuff back. Okay, once the initial I was over with and I started seeing. All right, so if you're not having a blessed day, please go out and be a, this is hot. That's a heating pad. <laughs> Why did I do that? No, That was so totty. No, she goes, mwah. I just go, sometimes. Sometimes I blow kisses too.